Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of Retro Rumble. Today we are going to be playing Super Ma Paper Mario which was a game made in 2007 and I'm just actually gonna check my volume, sorry there. Uh, but yeah, made in 2007 for the Wii so we're gonna be playing that today now probably thinking but we're gonna be doing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door next year but oh sorry guys it does that after a bit it goes back onto the sort of introduction trailer thing which we're not gonna watch which all Paper Mario games have all the early ones anyway so yeah made in 2007 uh, we're gonna be playing it you're probably thinking that we're already doing a game next year uh, but uh, yeah we are gonna be playing this one as well, which will be done after Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, which we're definitely doing first. But yeah, if we do do it, it will be done after that. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you this when doing an episode of Retro Rumble. Is it's quite different to the other Paper Mario games. So I thought it'd be a good one to show you, as a lot of you didn't like the first one that much. Uh, so yeah, that's why I am doing that. So anyway, let's get into it. You may notice that I have my audio has changed a bit for the better, hopefully. Uh, and that's because I got a new headset. It was my birthday quite recently, so I got a new headset. And the audio should be a lot better. I've already had a play around with it yesterday and it sounded very good. And one thing you will notice that it now has surround sound, the other one didn't. So if I say, do a bit of this with the controller, hopefully you should be able to hear that. Anyway, we're going to start a new game and get into it. Uh, so first of all, like any classic Paper Mario game, you have to enter your name. So what we're going to do, Agent. Um, I'm not sure how you do a space, so... Agent B. Agent B 13. And there we go. Done. Use this name. We will indeed. So yeah, this is the third Paper Mario game. It's actually pretty average because after this, the other two games that were made were quite not very good. So, like any classic Paper Mario game, we start off at Mario's house. Wow, it sure is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yup real peaceful it's so peaceful it's almost a little bit boring it makes you just want a kalubi you know some kind of shocking event oh a princess peach's place maybe that'd be cool huh bro maybe we should go visit mushroom castle it has been a while i'm sure the princess would be happy to see us This is the only like game where Luigi comes with him. M -m 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 Mario, help! Well, maybe he did in the first one. I can't remember. To Toad, what? What happened? And I missed that line. Oh, uh -oh. it's sh 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 shocking. Mushroom Castle raided. What? Why? That's ridiculous. How in the world would who in the world would do such a thing? Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. We're counting on you, Mario Bros. 
Okay, so here we are, Bowser's Castle. Vahaha! <laughs> Listen, well, my elite minions task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little moustache buddies. Yeah. And here we have all the Hammer Bros and a lot of Goombas. Oh, ha, 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 ha. We're under attack. You jokers are the best. Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. Bah, Mario and Luigi. How's you getting here? What? My front gate was open. How many times have I told those idiots? If you're the last in, lock the gate. Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now where'd you put her? Where did I... Wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario, help! Princess Peach! Black! Your princess has been taken by Count Black! Yeah, wait, who? By who? By me, Count Black! The chosen executor of the Dark Frog Tagonicus is Count Black! The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Count Black! Enough! Release Princess Peach right now! I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black says never! The Princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. She'll be brought to Castle Black. And used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Destroy all worlds? And we all get sucked into this strange um, black hole thing. Big bro! Apart from Mario and Luigi and... No, actually Mario. Luigi and Bowser are left and some Coopers or oh, Paracoopers Paracoopers this man deserves ridicule weaklings cannot face Count Black hey there's a fort you calm down and free the princess or else blah 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 ha <laughs> ha your princess shall not be returned by Count Black in fact Bowser evil king of the Coopers Count Black will take you too <laughs> Black. And everyone gets sucked into the black hole thing. Apart from Mario seems to have just come back out. <laughs> Black. Count Black's preparations. All that remains is for the unmentionable void to appear. As foretold in the prophecy. Blech ha 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 Blech ha And there we go I think it's quite funny how Bowser actually gets kidnapped in this game Mario Mario Are you awake? My name is Tippy. 
I am what is known as a pixie, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yeah. Then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. And I wonder where we're going. I love the paper effects in this game by the way. They certainly are probably the best out of all of the games. The Paper Mario. Oh, oh, well, well, well. Back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash? Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the light. I'm not bothering reading that. Perfectly. And his name is Mario. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name, Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying m m musty ancient text to forestall the end of the world. Ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So, Tippy has not yet told you, Ga I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. And here we have this kind of flashing void thing. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? It's a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. Is it near far? None no. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the dark frog on... Uh, not reading it. Fair and lovely princess, the furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth Chaos Heart, the consumer of all worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky, and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage tippy just quoted is from the light promised to us of my ancestors. The book also sees this. The void will swallow all. Naught can stop it unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of the sight with eight with eight of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is written. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the light prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Camp Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Wow, that's like the bluntest thing he could have ever said. Yes, we will though. Excellent. You truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, um, Mario, our brave hero, take this. And there we go. We got our first pure heart from doing basically nothing, but there's going to be seven more to get where we have to do things. The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. 
Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar on in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. When the upper appears, press the red direction to examine things or talk to people. Okay, so. Now time for me to explain a bit about the interface and stuff up here. And sort of how this game works, as you can probably see straight away a big difference. So as you can see, we still have HP like any other Paper Mario game. Uh, we have a score, which is new, which I'll explain later. And we also have coins. But the main difference, as you can probably tell, is that we are playing in 2D here. A lot of this game is in 2D, there are some 3D parts, which I'll explain how they come into it later, but yeah. So, this is side-scrolling 2D, but we can still jump, as you can see. Quite high, actually. So what you can do is fall down here, and surprisingly not use any help. This is the Pure Heart Pillar. Now get close and place the Pure Heart. So yeah, the main objective of this game then is to basically get the Pure Hearts, defeat Count Black, and stop the Void. So press up on the controller, and you will put in the Pure Heart. And I think someone's ringing me, but oh well. I have to wait. There you go, a bit of 3D action there. And look at that paper effect there, that's what I'm talking about. Some of the best paper effects in a Paper Mario game. Well done. Now, let's return to Merlin. So, what happened there is basically a door just appeared. So, we can go in the lift. Hope this goes up, I didn't check. Oh, it's going down! Yeah, there's a lot of lift action in this game. A lot of lifts we have to get. So this is basically the hub town of the game. Uh, but we can uh, return back to the top floor here. I love this music in this game though. This game is a bit retro style, but yeah, and including the music, but it is still brilliant. I mean, sort of a game that's themed to sort of the future style, and, and who is messaging me? Luckily, I have it on the sign. Oh well. Anyway, forget about that for now. So, this game is kind of retro, but at the same time, it is futuristic style, but the graphics are quite retro and stuff. Anyway, I I am liking this game, not played a lot of it, but yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the story. Ah, oh, the two of you return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made by, to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. And we get a magic pipe that returns you to a flip side from afar. And it's called a return pipe. I read that in the wrong order, but oh well. So, basically, instead of having to backtrack through things, which you'll see is kind of impossible in this game, you can get straight back here. Which is really cool. With this you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. So basically you go to important things on the menu screen and just remember that in some areas that... I don't know what it... I think it said it can't be used in some areas. Oh well. The, dark, the light prognostics tells us that the hero will meet a dimensional governor. 
I from him the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain that this refers to my friend, the flip wizard, Bestovius. So go now through this door and seek out Bestovius. Well, let's get going. So yeah, I'll just show you the menu quickly. If you've ever played the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, it's quite similar to that menu. So you got important things there. And that's all I really have to say. So, we're going to head on through this door and see what's beyond by pressing up. And we're here. Or are we? At Count Black's kind of palace. Bleh, <laughs> Bleh. The void has been ripped in a dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the dark frost. No goodness. Nah, it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet the demise black. And why on earth does he talk in third person about himself? I really don't know, but... Oh well. Wow, that's just super camp. Yeah, first of all, erase all those naughty worlds. And then, you're gonna build a perfect world without w w war. Without all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes. No one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world. Sounds magical. Ah ha ha ha. I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry, I'm late. What in the blazing bog rats? How do I beat myself? Uh, what's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, oh, chunks. You big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time though. When you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey! Yeah, can't fool me with that. Crazy shape shift. Then, hooligan eh? It's Mimi, innit? Show a little respect for you, Count. Yeah, can't go a borrowing in face lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly, thanks, Count. We do around. It's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count. That's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's dear wood world was a gem filled pool with funky lifeguards. Hey, Demento! Have you been reading my diary? I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ending, Crown Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Frog Gnosticus. Yeah, about that. Just on f FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Apparently there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately, yeah? I'm thinking it's the hero of the prophecy. Well, we're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper. And possibly the hero. You sure are it. Nostal... Nastag... Nastasia. Interesting. Mused Count Black. We must put an end to this non nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in my brain. The hero and the S Nastasia's going on about he your enemy? Then you gotta cut me loose on him, yeah, gonna. I'll give him a nice taste of old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. Yeah, can count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm. I swear it. Mimi, Demento, yeah? You should take along her. Could witness a p proper chunking. Hmm, 
I do enjoy good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> so hero, with defeat, you would defy Count Black then. Hurry for your world to end the draws near. <laughs> Black. Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. And we are now into chapter 1-1 as it's known. Now, let me explain something. In this game, instead of, sort of chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, just like that. This has got a level style, so basically it's beginning to end of the level. Then you go into chapter 2. 1, 2, so there's sort of lots of different sort of level things. And you can see this is like a 2D Mario level. Uh, so yeah, basically you have to go through all sort of chapter 1 something in this door. And then you go on to the next door, which is chapter 2. So this is like chapter 1, part 1 kind of. So it works a bit like Mario Brothers. It is different to other Paper Mario games, but you'll get used to it. And the storyline is quite complicated as well, as you've probably seen it. I'm sure we'll get used to it. Anyway, let's get back to what we need to do. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend, Pistovius, to learn the dimensional technique. we better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. So basically you point the Wii remote at the screen and Tippy will focus on where you point. Then just press A over anything framely red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy about anything or anyone you want. So that's sort of how that works. So say we do this for ourselves. And yeah. Basically, he tells you your current status, or she, or whatever, if you point yourself. Now you see Goomba. Now, will we go into the turn-based battle system if we jump on him? Let's find out. Nope. We just kill him straight away, so that's also different. So, sit. There's no turn-based battle system in this game. And these, um, to be honest, the graphics look a bit like the Thousand Year Door. Uh, so yeah, so how you get up there is you jump on the box and jump up and we can't get in that door yet so we're gonna keep going and those enemies have a bit more health whatever they are so we're gonna go into this house and look at that, those paper effects This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? And we can see a door there. So we're going to focus on that. There's a hidden door here. Let's make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. So we're going to enter there. Hmm. What is this mega moustache that's standing before me? How does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait, right here, red shirt. Conspicuous white gloves. Jaunty cap. Haha. You are garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero impersonator. What a costume! You look like you leaped out of the pages of the Proston. Uh, I can't be bothered reading that word half the time. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. 
Merlin told us to find you. Merlin! Only his full-bodied beard rivals my hairy magnificence. If Merlin thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I bestow this, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. For a nominal fleet of what, 10,000 coins? But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero with the prophecy. Why not? Even the great and spendiferous Pistorius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? No. I see. So be it. I'll settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Can we have a deal? Yeah. Skin tasting. Let's begin. I don't even know if I read that right, but... Oh well, this game has so many complicated words. I mean, for a game that everyone's meant to be able to play, it's a bit full on with the story and the language in it and stuff. Flimity Flobbity Flume, Diggity Daddy Doom, Zibbity Zabbity Zoom. Shaboom! Flippo! I bestow this. I granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. I say to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand that you look like the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, use your new ability too long, you will lose HP. So, let's try it out then. There we are. Use the flip ability to flip into 3D. Flip between 2D and 3D to get through tricky situations and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip gorge in the upper left will start to drop. If your flip gorge runs out, you'll start to take damage. So flip back before then. Flip back into 2D to build up your flip gorge again. So there we go. Let's flip back. Return through the door. And head out, except we need to flip to get out. So. So yeah. So what you need to do now is head down here and not get hit. There we go. That's how you lose HP in this game. And then what you want to do is head down here, jump over the gap and head back through here flip there so now we can access this door go through here defeat enemies to earn points when you earn enough points you'll level up and increase your HP and attack power use plus to go to the menu and see how many points you need so yeah instead of experience we get points and, we, and it upgrades our HP every time so that's the difference with this. So we see a Cooper there. Gonna jump over him. And a sweet mix that restores 5 HP and cures poison. So we'll use that if we get low in health. Because I am rubbish. Now, you see we can't get over that pipe. What we need to do is go into 3D. And I got a Goomba card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you'll boost the damage you do to it. More cards are better. You can boost your power by double, triple or more. Oh, by the way, you can also use this a bit like a tattle. So... Oh. 
Ugh, oh, forget it! Oh, I forgot I had to use the D-pad. Oh, I messed up now. I'm on five health already. You know what, let's use that item now because... Uh, right. Sorry guys, I'm still getting used to this game. There we go! I'm back up to full health. I just don't want to be on five health this early in the level. I've been a bit careless. Ouch! All right. Stop! There we go. And this is World 1-1. One, one. Are you serious? I'm this bad. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> what am I doing? Right, flip! I am rubbish at this game. I'll tell you now. Right, run, 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 run! There we go. Right, so now jump this gap. And this isn't even meant to be difficult. Ow! I forgot! Right, let's just run to the end. It's the easiest way. There we go. Right, run. Um, right, what do we do here? Oh yeah, you can use the spring. Right, and I'm gonna flip into 3D, cause... Right. There we go. Right, what it? What? Right, just kill him. And there we go. Right, I need to run quick. Quick, quick. Oh! What is... Right, I just had to let it regain because I was getting low. Oh, stop! Stop! There we go. Right. Why did I even go in 3D? Oh, well. I am bad at this game. I accept that. Through the door. Whoa! I've... Right, let's just walk past here. And get this power up. Get it! Yes! This is a mega star. Use it to grow to mega proportional and transform your and trample your enemies. There we go! Now we get to be big Mario from like Mario Brothers and that. Yes, this is the cool bit at this level. Here we go. Right now we can basically run to the end, I believe. There we go, destroying everything. What better way to get through a level? There we go. And we keep running. So how do we get past this level? Oh, there's the end, actually. What was I doing? So, we get the star here. And there we go, end of chapter. So that was the first level in this game. Do you want to save your progress? Yes, we do. So there we go, we save. And so Mario came to learn the super st stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was even was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said, as she flew towards the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. So then this loads up uh, chapter 1-2, one, 
which is another level as you can see in sort of a mountain type desert. I feel that the pure heart is beyond the mountain, but it's still far far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. So basically, yeah, that was what would happen next, but I'm not going to do this level because this video has gone on for more than long enough, so I know when it here, but if we were to carry on, so say I was doing this as a series, we'd do this next episode, so basically you just go through a lot of levels like that, and that's basically the game, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye!